Our other big story this afternoon, controversy over a Greenville City Council seat. Nine on your side has been monitoring development since last week. John Landrin filed to run for the District 2 seat in July, but when he showed up to vote early, he learned he actually lives in District 1. The Board of Elections called the error an oversight, one uncorrected for years. Landrin says this not only affects him, but everyone. Especially when I did everything I was supposed to do. I did exactly what I was told to do. I did exactly follow the letter of the law to a T. For them to then invalidate my campaign is simply wrong. And it's not just a matter for me. This affects every candidate in every district. Uh, By law, Landron is no longer able to run for city council in District 2 since he was required to live there for 30 days prior to filing. And just behind me, this map shows you a full picture of the Greenville City Council districts. And it all has to do with one small area on the west side of the city. The two districts in question are in yellow and in green. District 1 is in yellow. District 2 is in green. And as I zoom in a little bit here, we'll show you the area in question. It's around Arlington Boulevard. This area right here, this being Arlington Boulevard running there. This is Dickinson Avenue. This is Memorial. So it's the little area right here that's the area in question. John Landrin's been voting for and was able to file in District 2 as a candidate. But according to this map, he actually lives in District 1. So now the Pitt County Board of Elections is meeting to decide whether or not to vote to cancel Landrin's candidacy.